Hello, I am going to do a quick video here where I demonstrate uh, booting up uh, our 4690 based point of sale terminal. Uh, see we have the, the terminal itself right here, our line display, our monitor, and a keyboard down below. I'm just going to turn it on and let it go through its IPL sequence. I'm going to uh, narrate it a bit as it goes along, uh, tell you what's happening when you see certain mess messages on the screen. Most of your messages are actually going to appear here, uh, with some also appearing on the monitor here, but we define the um, the line display as our, our primary display for, for those that might be a little less familiar with uh, 4690 and how it works. Um, the operating system is designed to be able to optionally operate headlessly. You might have a 4690 terminal that doesn't have a monitor on it at all. Um, so that's why for compatibility reasons a number of the messages will come up on the line display. In this particular case I define the line display as the primary. Uh, so anyhow, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and start it up. I'll reach under here and hit the power switch. Okay. First thing you see, U001, that just simply means that the, that the uh, display has been powered up and nothing else yet. Over here you see a very typical uh, PC BIOS boot sequence. And we're going to enter into a number of option ROMs at this point. Uh, booting this up does take a minute. Uh, hard disk check is no hard disk to check. Got the event log viewer. In our SurePass feature card, no, when that initialized, it initialized the display, which is why the message changed to U003. Okay, now we're going to start the PXE boot sequence, and you're going to see messages come up on here as well as there. PX1 means we've started loading, looking for a DHCP client. PX4, we found it. Now we're going to try to load a boot image from the FTP server, and now we've got that. And that is our firmware version. That's the model number and uh, BIOS version. PXE copyright message, U005, means that we're ready to start actually loading the operating system over the network. Now you're seeing uh, the, 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 on the right hand side, you're getting a count of the blocks. So this is, there are three parts, one initial image, and then an A and B image. So we're now loading the A image. It's counting the blocks in hexadecimal, as you can see. It's going to count up to about 9E00 before it stops. And then we're going to load the B image. Yep, there it goes. It's loading the operating system uh, over the network from the controller, uh, which is the server that manages the 4690 systems. The, the terminal has no disk whatsoever. Um, it is possible to optionally use a hard disk in these systems, but uh, is by no means necessary. Normally, everything is loaded into RAM. Okay. And get the 4690 splash screen. So now the operating system is up, so it's going to attempt to uh, bring up its own networking stack and establish communications with the controller through its own networking stack as opposed to the PXE boot. Uh, process. You'll see at this stage uh, most of the messages are now going to appear on the pull display uh, because it's the primary display where so in a moment the uh, the monitor will go to a blinking black cursor and that'll be it. Okay. Reinitializing the hardware which is why I dropped back to U001. So it's going to fetch our program here, which we're just using a demonstration program. In this case, it's a Java program. I could load any Java program I wanted, so I figured, well, what better than to load the uh, Minecraft server jar. So we're going to establish communications with the controller, and then we are going to load our software. The operating system has already been loaded, but the software, not yet. Now we are loading the software. That is the zip file that contains the Minecraft server. 
That is the Java runtime downloading. I'll take it a second. I want to say that I particularly quite like this progress bar a lot. It's, uh, it's very cool. I'm going to zoom in on the screen because that's the only thing left that's going to have any action for now. Loading some other files related to the, uh, to the GUI operation. Apologize for the wobble. All right. Okay. Now, right here, you don't see anything because the Java console, the Java like GUI GUI is uh, is turned off. So while it doesn't seem like it's done anything and it's sitting idle, I'm going to key in here. I'm gonna hit S1 five. S2. And that brings up our GUI. And what do we have here? But the Minecraft server. It's a Java program just like any other. Running the client is probably a different story since this uh, since there is no 3D acceleration in 4690, but there you have it. And lastly, as Proof that we are up and running. We'll connect to it. All right. There you have it. The entire thing running out of our terminals RAM disk. Just like that.